children of the universe. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. This is Makeup and Science. Uh, I'm Darkie and today I have my daughter, Akroma, joining us. Do you want to wave? Yeah. Hi. <laughs> I'm nervous. So um, Akroma is 10 years old. Yep. And she is in year five. five. Year five at school now. Uh, it's a people free day, so she's home from school today, and um, Akroma enjoys makeup? Yeah, I, I, my first time, well, fifth time making, I mean, doing makeup. Fifth time doing makeup. <laughs> so, what was your idea? You wanted to use one palette today? Yeah, one palette. Okay, so we're doing a challenge, we're going to do a one palette look, and which one did you want to use? Blue. Okay, so blue. Well, blue's not my favorite color. I mean, I do like blue. Well, you seem to like blue makeup, so you like the blue moon? Yeah. That color it has like a nice background. What is it, background? You mean it has a nice color story? Yeah. Color. Okay, so this is the inside of blue moon? Yeah. All right, so this is what you're going to challenge yourself with yeah. today? All right, we've got that. I'm gonna open up. This mirror in case you want to use it. Yep. Is that in front of you? Yep. Make sure to subscribe down below. <laughs> like you're looking at right now. Um, might be easier just to use that because that's getting into the way of the camera. Yeah, you can use it this big. Alright, so big. did you want to choose the palette I'm gonna use? Or did you want me to choose? You can choose. Want me to choose? I don't know. Oh maybe I should do monochromatic like you. Ooh, like you can do like those hair, same hairstyle, like you can use purple. Okay, so I'm doing purple then. And which purple should I use? There's the dark purple or the light purple? What would, what do they both, I mean, both so, look like? It's my pleasure. Looks like that. Ooh. So it's not fully just purple. There are some other tones in there. Like pink. Yeah, and there's a little bit of brown as well. And then um, Lilac You A Lot is the Lavender palette. Ooh, Lavender. Yeah, you can go with a Lavender. Can we do the light one? Okay, then we're going to do Lilac You A Lot and Blue Moon. Yes. Okay. All right. Well, then let's just get started. Woo! Yeah. All right, so before we start doing eye makeup, we need to put... Eye primer on, okay? Yep. Oh, that, that's what they're called. Yeah, so your makeup can stay on your eyes better. So when did you learn that? Well, there's a story. Uh, when I went to buy my first, like, palette, really, I had, like, okay, so I had loose eyeshadows mostly from my first sort of makeup collection. Yes. Um, but I hadn't really bought a palette until my last year of uni so that would have been 2018 um and it was like the urban decay sort of rainbow palette and it was terrible <laughs> and then yeah they're like oh yeah here's an eye primer so that's the first time i heard about eye primers oh now i heard it right now yeah but it still sucks so it was a really terrible palette and ended up throwing it in the bin it was that bad okay then you brought another one yeah so now i have a lot of palettes well, yeah. Okay, so I tried the Urban Decay Eye Primer, yeah, which was really bad for my eyes because I have dry skin and I have eczema. So when I used the Urban Decay Primer potions, they aggravated my eczema. Remember when I had a big swollen eye? I don't remember. Yeah, big swollen. Okay, eye. yeah, it was bad. So that's another Urban Decay product that went in the bin. Um, and instead, I have the Kaleidos Tone Activator Eye Primer, which has been one working wonderfully. It is not dehydrating, and... And you should buy it. For safety. <laughs> Just to make sure. <laughs> okay, so, I only going to use a very um, tiny amount, and that will most likely cover both my eyes. So, I'll show you what to do with Chroma. I'm going to go like that. Yes. Yes. Oh, it makes it like lighter or... Yeah, not all eye primers have colour, but this one does. Oh, like... 
And even though I don't have eczema right now, I can still feel how dry my skin is. Yeah. And oops, I forgot to pluck. This morning, I saw myself in the mirror. I'm like, I need to pluck. And I was too busy painting, so I didn't pluck. And pluck, you like your eyebrows or? Yeah, the eyebrow hairs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's okay. That's very wild. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> what if you'd rather go to space or you'd rather go to the ocean? Like, live in an ocean or live in the space? Mm, well, if I live in the ocean, then I'm still on planet Earth, and... Like, you can breathe down under the water and you have a house under the water. Well, like, you, you, uh, there's, there's hotels that you can be under the water. Oh, hotels under the water? Yeah, um, I think there's one in Dubai. How far away is that? Close your eyes. It is pretty much on the other side of the planet. It's an 18-hour flight, I think. 18? Uh-huh. Pretty much going to spend the whole day in the air. Like how much sleep? Oh, just one. You can sleep on the plane. Yeah, like, of course. Okay, how's that look? Or feel? Fine. Well, okay. my eyebrows. My eyebrows. I meant the eye. Okay. So, do you want to get started? Yep. Alright then. So which one do we pick? You There's... can choose whatever brush you want to start with. I like these. It has a nice color. How did I make this into a color? Do you want to show it to the camera? The camera's there. Yeah, and you can go like that. Where's the name? See there? Yep. You show it to the camera. Alright, so what does that say? So it says Spect... Spectrum yep. A12 is a nice stars. So now. it's uh, the Spectrum A12 pencil brush. Yes. Now I should like pick the light to the color. So I'm yep. about yep. to mm -hmm. pick some starry eyed. I know. <laughs> so this one here? Yeah. Okay. Starry gonna edit out me trying to make up my mind. Make up your mind? Get it. <laughs> what do you think, Krama? Should I do something light or dark? Light. And then when you do the bottom, um, darker. Okay. If you imagine it, it's very good. Alright, let's try and do like a purple smoky eye. Alright. I want to do a purple, 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 purple smoky eye. I'm going to start off with a black and blend it out. So, did you want to tell the viewers what you're learning at school at the moment? Well, at school, I've learned about um, some uh, um, math and then. What are you learning in maths at the moment? Like, is it multiplication? Well, or... we do times, but more like a algorithm. Okay, so do you using the letters? Yeah, now we're just like, now the math is getting harder, but it was getting easy. We're just trying to make it tricky. Like, yeah, yeah, math yeah. can be very tricky, but it's really good that you're learning that. Yep, uh, because I put my hands up for help. So kids, always put your hands up. Yes, manners and etiquette in class. Yes. And whenever you come out and some teachers are talking, just say, sorry for the interruption, and then, and then yeah. That's right. you got some lessons here on uh, etiquette and manners in the world, you know. Yeah. Out in the world. In oh. the workplace, in the classroom, always have manners. Or just here. So if you look at me, when you look at the mirror, look down like this. All right, so your eyes open and you can see what you're doing, but it, the eyelids open as well. Oh, and I then get it. you can get one of the shimmery ones. Do you, you can use that? You can use the dark one, or maybe put this dark one in the outer corner and then put it like that. Yeah, on your lid here. And then if you want, you can go there, there, there. So you start off dark on the outside, 
and then the medium in the middle and then the light color in the corner. Oh. Want to do that? Yeah, sure. All right, you can use your finger for that. So you can use your pinky. But if you want help, just ask mummy. Yes, mama. Mummy is very hard to say mama, right? Mama. 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 <laughs> okay, so I've got my black primer on my lid and I'm going to go in with probably this one here and then gradually blend into that. That seems cool. I have paint on my nose. Probably can't see that. I've been painting, hence the painting clothes. Uh, but now I need to let the paint dry before I can move on to the next step. Yep. I like doing makeup. Now it looks so bluey. You like blue makeup, don't you? Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, if any of you watch Bluey, that's nice. Bluey's, in, Bluey's a nice TV show. I get I mean, some kids should watch. Bluey is awesome. It is an Australian cartoon show with uh, blue healers and red healers, which are a type of dog. Generally Aussie dogs. Anywho. Probably dingoes. I think there's a dingo in it. I'm not sure because I'm not watching it. I don't watch ABC Kids anymore because the children have grown up a bit. And Catherine loves watching Bluey. Catherine um, is... Uh, Kramer's cousin, my niece and my goddaughter, and she loves Bluey. So when did you start doing makeup? I... Well, probably 12. I might have done it younger when I was going through Yaya's, so my mum's. Um, like, do you make any messes like kids do? No, I was respectful. Of your yeah, yeah's makeup, yeah. Um, so I'm not doing the ripping, okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I used to go through her makeup and play with it, so I used to just do eyeshadow. And also, I think some people would give me like, do you remember the old palettes where it was like a shell and you'd open it up and you'd have like eyeshadows on top and then you'd move those out of the way and then you have like your blush. And I've never seen those things. No, you haven't. This is old. I don't know, blush and maybe like a concealer powder, and then you move that out of the way, and you had like some lips, lippy products, you have all these little shitty brushes that you'd like. Do, 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 do. Yeah, those. I think people just handed them down to me, like they had it, or maybe they were gifted it. I don't know. Or they don't want it. Yeah, I don't know, and just somehow it ended up in my possession as a young child. Uh, so those are like my first shitty palettes that I was playing with. Yes. Have you, like, does Nono and George used to play makeups too? Or were they like, no, and it's play their video games or stuff? No, the boys never played with makeup. They were, um... See, I got teased just for being a girl, so there was no way that they were going to do anything remotely girly. Yeah, what's wrong with being, like, you still tease people when, when they like to play some makeup. Like, what if you're playing a video game and then, what if... They yeah, didn't the tease opposite. me for makeup, but they teased me for the... existing? Wait, what is existing? Just, just being, I don't know. Like, I had, a, like... I, had a, I had a hard childhood, let's just put it down to that. So, so I had to, the way I fit in was just, you know, doing all the boy stuff, which was fine because I enjoy the boy stuff. Yeah, like the boys' clothes are like very amazing. Yeah, so it does the girls, like they have a pastel colors and yeah. So oh like, yeah, pastels are totally in them. And we used to go to JJ's and buy some clothes. Like the, all those clothes used to fit me. I used to wear as an extra small and then the next year it's small. Yeah, you're growing. Yeah, because I'm... Okay, I cannot tell my age. You already like, did. Oh, uh, yeah. Said you <laughs> yeah, go back... <laughs> go back. <laughs> go back in your memory and remember she said she was 10. <laughs> yes. Yeah, nobody can in the world do that. I used to be able to do it when I was younger. Oh. I just can't do it now. 
Oh. <laughs> I cracked my neck. Yay. <laughs> no, it's a spine. Yeah, spine, why not? Yeah, it's your cervical spine, which is your neck. So, Mom, how many videos have you made? Like... It'll be on my YouTube channel. I don't know. Okay. And how many subscribers have you got? I think I have 32 at the moment. <laughs> and I think we're getting more. Like, that will be 40. nice. That'll be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you are makeup and you make videos, bring your child. Or, if you don't have a child, I'm sorry. You can bring your friends or... Your... Get your friends to subscribe yeah. to my channel. Where I like to play with makeup, whilst I talk to you about science. So there are science videos which are educational. And, okay, 99% of my videos are going to be child-friendly. Because I aim to not swear or have any sort of profanity. Yeah, like, don't slur. I don't know. Yeah, no slur. But I think there might be some exceptions to the rules on some videos. Um, do you have to be voted out? And then the next episode is going to be voted out. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Look at this blending. <laughs> yes. I'm really impressed with that. I like that. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm about to use this on my eye. And so what is it? Is it the creme gel liner? Yeah, creme gel liner. 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 Yeah. Okay, now do them. It would be nice to win like a watermelon makeup. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Do what a matter. Can I do this eye watermelon for you? Yes, please. Okay, then. I'll do the second eye watermelon. And for I would do some like those decoration things I like to do. Like my favorite part. Here's the white liner. Oh, that one. Okay, then. I'm going to do like those bubble things like the ocean. And this one could be the watermelon. It's like Ooh. the summer. That sounds good. Oh, I yeah, like you that. put like the sun in the middle there. Mm. Hello, Memphis. Hey. I'm good at art because every time and every year at school, I always get an A at art because I'm getting gooder. I used to do some digital. You're getting better. Yeah, getting better. All right. So I'm gonna put one of the satins or two or whatever down in the corner there. All right. Now I look tired and uh, yeah, blind. All right. So this is what the eye looks like so far. Close your eyes. And we're just going to clean this up later and do the highlighting later as well. So I'm going to finish off this look um, by just doing like liquid eyeliner, cream gel eyeliner, mascara, um, clean up a little bit, I think, with concealer. And then I'm going to finish off the chroma's eye look on camera. So, be right back. Okay, so I am just finishing this off here. My eyes are all done. Yep. Using only colors from the Lie Like You A Lot palette. Yeah, I like you a lot. Lie Like You A Lot. Uh, and I've just used the ColourPop Pretty Fresh No Filter Foundation in the color uh, light 14 uh, to clean up the makeup and you know conceal baggy eyes yep so oh then hey all right so we should so now we get up to the watermelon yes okay before we move on to doing the watermelon eye I am just gonna clean up here with some concealer so let's look up Hey, look up. Please keep looking up. So we're just going to press that into the skin. And a little bit down. So let's see. Look up. And sort of clean around here as well, just to give it a bit more of a nice. Okay, I'm just gonna want a little bit too high there, so just trying to get rid of it. Open your eyes. I'm just gonna fix that a little bit there. Mm. 
I'm gonna look the other way. All right, look at me. And look at the camera. Eight. All right, so we have the main squeeze by ColourPop for the reds. The red. Um, I'm probably gonna go between like these two here. They're nice. Uh, and then for the greens, I have just my luck and mint to be. I think mint to be might be too light, but maybe for blending out, I could use something there. And then this is the just my luck. Um, and I'll figure out what color to use there as well. All right. So with the skin of the watermelon being green, I was thinking of putting that on the bottom waterline and then up sort of here and then blend into close your eyes the red so it's got like the triangle going like that and open your eyes again we can add some black seeds and uh, figure it out on the way i know what to do with those black things i don't use those things just like is it da, blah, blah, blah. yeah we'll use the black liquid eyeliner so i like them I'm going to start off with like a medium green. If I need to darken it up, I will. So um, I'm going to quickly swatch these greens here. Um, as you can see there, sort of. Yeah. And I think I like cool. this green. All right. Just look up for me. Actually, that's a lot of product close for a second. And then I'm going to get a fluffy brush. So just a Morphe fluffy brush here. And use this lighter green to sort of just blend the edges out. Close your eyes. All right, look at me. All right, so that's what sort of shape we're going with at the moment. Now, because red and green are opposite colors, they blend together to create browns. So we don't want to have any of that muddiness. So I'm actually going to do a cut crease. And so we get more of a pure red going on. So for that, I'm using the Pretty Fresh Concealer in white to Ooh. cut the crease. Cut? Yes, honey. Oh, no, cut. <laughs> All right. So putting that on my hand. I know my hands look dirty with paint, but um, I've scrubbed them. They're just not going to come off anymore. That's going to just come off with time now. <clears throat> time and time. I am going to use, see like, usually I go in with this, but I think a chroma's eye is a little bit too small to use such a big cut. Um, and then I usually go in afterwards with the more rounder edge to, you know, make it a smooth edge, but I might just go straight in with the round today. All right, so it's going to be how you turn your head and close your eyes. Right, open your eyes. So a good way to get your cut crease is make sure the eye is open. Open your eye. And I'm just going to map out, keep your eyes open, where the lid goes. So when we do the cut, you want to see the cut above the lid. I right, Open your eyes properly, honey. And I'm just going to sort of map where that is. All right, close again. So then when you close the eye, you can still see, like, yep, that's where the crease is. So you want the crease larger than the natural eye crease. I'm trying to get it on the tip of the brush. There we go.
Now, I do want to just mention, no, I'm not doing full makeup artistry hygiene um, at the moment because it's my child and we share products all the time. If I was to be doing this on a client, everything would be cleaned, um, wouldn't be touching my skin, you know, and like with mascaras, you know, you'd use a disposable mascara wand. I would not be using my mascara out of the tube and it wouldn't be my mascara. It would be one that is specifically just for makeup artistry. This is my personal makeup that I'm using on myself and with my children. And that's what the cut crease looks like at the moment, which is quite large, but we're going for a fun look today. Um, I'm going to go in with Home Slice from the Main Screen Squeeze palette, which is like a satin. Oh. My eyelashes are so big. Alright, close. Just close them. Yeah, my eyelashes are big. Your eyelashes are big. Like Catherine's. Yeah, Catherine has like big eyelashes. Look down. Also, if you want the eyelid to like stretch out without pulling it, just instead of closing your eyes, actually look down with your eyes. So they may close, but have your eyeballs pointing downwards. That's what I do. Yeah, and that stretches the lid. Oh. Yeah. I'm actually just gonna leave this edge here, because when you think about um, watermelon, you have the red, and then it sort of blends into a whitish, pale green before it goes to the dark green skin. So I'm going to leave that edge there where I'm going to add some of like a pale green color and then deepen out the edge again. So I'm just patting this in and pressing it into the concealer. Now I found the white concealer to actually be much drier than the colored concealer. And I think that's purely for the purpose of acting as a primer or base for like cut creases. So that's what it looks like at the moment. Ooh. So yeah. Yeah, like, right. it just reminds me of something. Pepsi. <laughs> Open your well, eyes. I like Open your eyes. I like Coca Cola. Coca Cola's always a one. Alright, look up. But if you like um, Pepsi, look up. If you like Pepsi, that's good. To know. Okay, so I'm gonna go with uh, meant to be and use one of these paler colors to do that middle bit there. I'm just gonna decide what I want to use. I think I'm going to go with uh, Mojito Mami. Oh. Mojito Mami. Hola. Alright, el lado. No! Ah, okay, Don't quick. shut the door. Quick. <laughs> I think it's the best we're going to get. Alright. I think it's the best we're going to get with soundproofing, unfortunately. <sighs> Alright. Wow. I love that. Close your eyes and we're gonna try do this portion here. Wait, what does that mean? Portion? Yeah. Like a section. Okay. Do you know what section is? No, but I like the word called section. It's like, so say this is the whole brush. Yep. This is one section is the handle. This oh. section here is the binder it's and just this like section. An object. Like this is a pieces yeah. of the whole. Alright. Alright, open up. And do this Okay. Woo. Okay, mm -hmm. let's clean up with some concealer because damn I made a mess. Damn. Ugh, lots to clean up. And I'm going to use a brush because I think my fingers are saturated with product. Like so dried hands. 
I'm using the Sigma Pre Precision 4D 3D? 4D HD. Oh, like a 3D, but more like an angle wear shape. What kind of 3D shape is it called? It's four-sided, so that's why they call it 4D. 4D? Is it like an inside or like... So it's obviously not really 4D, honey, because fourth dimension, it's time. Yeah, what does it look like? You can't see it. You can't even fathom what it is. Just don't worry about it. Inside. It's just the, for the sake of calling a product something, but it's not 4D because there's no way in hell you could do 4D. Because in another universe. No, because 4D is being able to control time. And we cannot control time. We can only move in one direction. We're just in a real life. not that it would be not real life, it's just that we don't have control of it. Like, we can't fathom the fourth dimension. Because Sorry, we're sure. humans, and humans don't perceive the world in four dimensions. Are there, like, some cartoon universe? Oh, you mean... Like, are. Multiple yeah. universes. Uh, I don't know. Because cartoon is what we've drawn, that's our creation. Yeah. If, like, if we draw one, that means there will be another new universe. And then, like, when there's so many universes here, it's just like galaxy, and then another one, another one. And then there will, be, there will just be inside a, another universe. No, those are just different universes, not parallel or multi. That's different. How can I show a universe what it looks like? Like, how's it, how's it so colorful? We can't. How's that? We can't? We can't prove it right now. We can theorize multiple universes and parallel universes and all that sort of stuff, but we cannot prove it. It is impossible. Or With our current technology. Yes. Yes. Okay, so... Um... I want to do the like eyeliner and mascara and then get back to doing details and then yeah be right back yeah. okay so I thought I would record when I do the eyeliner on the other side so okay. so that's the eyeliner on this side close your eyes Please. I've got eyeliner on you and then open up again so it's a little bit hard to do eyeliner on other people, but or even on yourself. Tip, hooded eyes. Keep your eyes open and look straight ahead. I'm going to go from the bottom la um, waterline and just do a line. Right. And then you can close. I can connect that line up with her eyes closed so she can relax. And then open your eye again. Keep your eye looking forward, all right? So where's your nose? There's a, yeah. All right, but a little bit higher. Look at my nose. There we go. I'm going to take it from the tip there and just go towards her pupil. Pupil? Look. Okay, you can blink, relax. All right. And I'm just going to color that in a little bit. And there. All right, close your eyes. So we've created sort of like a bat wing. I'm just going to carefully fill that in. And keep your eyes closed, but don't move your eyeballs around. I'm going to try fill that in like that. And just do sort of a very small line out like that. Yeah. All right, look at me. Okay, so as you can see, I went a little bit too high there, but I'm just going to continue this and get the pupil out of the way because that's what's the bumpy thing. And 
feel that blink so you can relax. So you look at the camera and close your eyes and open. All right, that's the shape we're going to stay with because you keep trying, you're just going to make more and more mistakes. Yeah. But no so, one's going to notice because, like I said, that's where the cut, like, the cut. creases in the eye. So. so thank you for watching. Is that over? No, it's not oh. over. <laughs> okay, we so, haven't done the seeds yet. Oh, yeah, the, se wait, oh, yeah, the seeds. I've been waiting. So Acroma has really, really long eyelashes so it was really hard to put mascara and on the, when i'm older i gotta have like big eyelashes and I'm just... no generally they go they stay the same size because your eyeballs the same size from when you're born like as soon as developed in the your in utero it never gets bigger so you have the same size eyeball that you will always have for the rest of your life but the rest of your face will grow and your eyelashes will you know shape out to the rest of your body so yeah. your eyelashes are going to stay the same length if not get smaller okay okay i'm sure I've, i think it's gonna get the same thing okay yeah okay so as i was saying mascara difficult to put on on someone else but also very very long eyelashes so we got a little bit on the skin here, which is fine because we're going to be doing the seeds. So I'm going to try and draw some seeds. No, you can just do a one touch. All right, so I'm going to do like a little teardrop there to try and make it look like we were meant to have black in that spot. All right, there's one. Open your eyes. And close again. And do another one here. We can blink, it's fine. And we'll put this one just here. So close again. And we'll put one just there. And voila. You can look in the mirror and tell me where do you think we should put the last one? Hold it. Okay. Do you think we should put one at the end up here, or do you want just one underneath like that? Underneath, like a tear, like... Yeah. In the middle, or do you want it on the outside? The middle. The middle. Okay, then. Have a look at me. Put... Okay. Alright, look in the mirror and tell me if you're happy with that. Happy. Let's have a look. Gorgeous. Yes. Queen. <laughs> Okay, look in the mirror, I mean, in the camera, so the camera's here. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um. Now, do you want foundation or no foundation? Foundation, I say. Okay, I'm also just going to pause the video so that we can do our base products and come back to finish off our looks. Yay. Yay. Okay. We have returned. Yay! It's been about an hour, right? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, a few things happened, like picking up the oldest from school okay. and hey, getting mm -hmm. not enough space. That's okay. Um, what else did we get? Dinner and oh, we're back. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah, foundation and blush and con oh, bronzer is on. And I want to do some the lipstick. Yes, lips. I want to do blue. Like, there's a nice smell. Uh, I don't think blue's going to match, but... Oh, I've got an idea. I've got an idea. Turn towards me a little bit. Alright, it's going to be a slight brown outline. So you can look this way. Okay, so for a chroma's foundation, I used the ordinary um, coverage foundation, high coverage foundation formula. So it's liquid, and that's in the color two zero N. 
which actually came out a bit too peachy because a chroma is olive skinned like myself and for me i used yeah chroma is a bit darker than me put your arm up like that yeah darker but still olive um i used the pretty fresh foundation in the color 60n from ColourPop, and then I also mixed it with the Auric Glow Lust, which helped create the olive skin tone foundation. So, so squishy than ever. It is squishy. <laughs> um, oh yeah, I used the Charisma Contour Palette, and I just used the bronzer shade for both of us. And I used the ColourPop blush in the color Vogue, which is like a purpley color. Color, thank yeah, you. like a peach purple color. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So we've done the outline of the lips using the Lime Crime Velveteen in the color GG, and then I'm going to fill it in with uh, Moonstone, which is a very sort of pale, soft, dusty lavender color. I got like a very big lip. Yes, you have lovely big lips that everyone. Cold wishes they had oh okay all right so i don't relax stop talking honey so a chroma had surgery on monday actually to remove a lesion from the inside of her bottom lip and it's lucky she doesn't have any swelling at all it's very it's healing very well yeah yeah, like quick. And just open your mouth and look. Ah, oh. um, she has not needed any painkillers either. So that's the great thing about like the inner mouth and the lips and stuff is that they heal very fast because your gums are the fastest healing part of your body, and you know then it goes to the rest of your mouth. Oh, okay. So just go up. All right, stop. stop. These are very fast drying matte lipsticks, but I just wanted to blend the colors together a little bit. Um, Cause we have quite a cool look here on the right eye, um, which is still cool here, but then they, the red is a little bit warm. So it's a little bit more. And I just wanted to sort of blend the two together to get somewhere in the middle so we can you know sort of match both eyes but i wanted to add a little bit of something now i have three of the um lime crime diamantes diamond, Ooh, I can't remember really can't. diamond crashes that's it so which one do you want Ah, they're so hard to pick, but I like the top. Alright, so this also has a, like a blue shimmer to it. Ooh, blue shimmer. Okay, so you want the top one? I wonder right. how they do that color. It says the color unicorn. As you can see there. The camera is trying to look the... Yeah. Alright, so it's really hard because the wand doesn't even touch the bottom where all the product is. I know, it's pathetic. Oh, is it? Pathetic. It's just like all stuck on the side. I'm gonna break this open. All right, so, and you can turn that way if you want. I'm gonna put some of that on the top. Oh, that looks very pretty. I love this lip color combo. I like to do it for myself all the time. Well, not all the time, but when I do use these colors, it's usually like all together like this. I right, got. That's good. Do you like that? Mm hmm. Can you see yourself in the mirror? No. Oh, okay. There? Ooh. Mm. And that's it. Lovely. All right. I'm also going to just do um, some colors in the. When I smile, it won't let me smile. <laughs> bottom waterline. So I think maybe we'll try this color for this eye. Do you want this the color for this eye? Hmm. Yes, please. All right. I'm gonna make sure that it's wet. Well, right. not wet, just that it's creamy because sometimes it gets like this dry layer on top yeah. that I want to. So just look up 
and then we're just going to go very gently. Wow. Do you want to look in the camera? Yes. Okay, and then here, the the white's gone a little bit, so I was thinking of... Well, maybe you can add silver. Do you want silver? No, thanks. No? All right, we'll do the white. Or do you want the carry sort of colour? Oh, yes, please. Um, do I just put on this? I've already done that. But okay. can I do one by my own? Because Hold whenever up. you do mine, it's tickles. Look up. And then we can do white in the center. But it is white. It's worn off a little bit. Just look up. Alright, there you go. Oh, wow. Okay, now for your highlighter, the red from the Kaleidos highlighters is Mars Melter. It looks like that. Okay, so I'm just going to use this um, highlighter brush from Spectrum, which is B08. If it picks up. And just try and pick some of that up. And just going to highlight up here. And a chroma has beautiful large cheeks that I just want to slather in highlighter. <laughs> okay. This little bit here. Don't jut your jaw. <laughs> and do the top look like that. Ooh. You like that? Yeah. Look at the straight at the camera. So we have the watermelon and ten. We have the water. Like the ocean. The ocean. Some, some bubbles and some seeds and lipsticks. You have such and, yeah. gorgeous lips. Look at those lips. It's just a big lip. I know. Well not that beautiful. Big. Oh, honey, people pay a lot of money to get those lips. What? Don't, don't ever change yourself, Bobby Moore. You're beautiful the way you are. Thank you. So are you. Thank you, baby. Okay, so I actually didn't finish off my... It's like a pointy lip. Like, well, I know, well, it's gorgeous. And then it's around. Yeah. Okay, so, uh, do you want to do your eyebrows? You can leave your eyebrows. Leave my eyebrows. Leave your eyebrows. You know what? I might leave my eyebrows too. Just to match my hair. They're just fine. I don't need to make them stand out or anything. So, are we done for this? No, I haven't finished mine. So, I was oh, going to do, where's the lavender? I've got lavender and a darker purple. I'll play with this sponge. sponge. Um, Look at this sponge. And then when you squish it, it becomes like a pancake or like a clay. Boop. Boom. You should buy those sponge. I don't know where they come from, but I don't know. Oh, these are just what I could find in the drugstore. So this is nice. Drug? In America, they call oh. pharmacies drugstores. Okay. So I just bought that at the pharmacy. Uh, um... No, not like a drug, I okay? 777. Okay. Uh, from the brand Natio. I think it was like four sponges for $24. So, okay. you can show this one too. This is the other shape. Ooh. And like, that's how small they are when they dry. Oh. So, show. So this Hold is... this up, hold it. Yeah. Hold it up next to each other. Oh, so like when it has water on it, it begins to be poof? Yeah. I want to do that to the dry one. Wait, where's the dry one? What does the dry one feel like? I'll show you later, okay? So I'm doing the darker purple on the outer yeah. sides, Didn't and then I'm doing the lavender the on the inner yeah. middle area. This is an amazing toy. 
And then for my lip, I am going to do purple. Now, introduce the whipped cream pancake. Um, I really like this purple, but it's so dry, this product. So... Can you make it wet? Like, you can I'm thinking it. of blending. How about I get the BH liquid lipstick? Oh, this is called liquid lipstick. Okay, so this is the BH Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the color. Why do they make it so tiny? I can't read. I can read it. Can I read what it? does that say there? So it says Liz. Is it Lucia? Lucindia. No, okay. So like L I S I N D A. Okay. What does that mean? I wonder why they put it so small. I know it's so tiny. But I have the very big closer look. Like I have a good eyesight. Like yeah. I can see something very far away. But us boys do, right? Ooh, that's a very pretty blue and purple. Yeah. Let's see this one. This one says black unicorn. Uh, I can see numbers so small, like this says zero point zero seven. I oh, know only you and Dad don't wear glasses now. Yeah. So, kid, don't look at the TV so close. That's or, a myth, honey. Was it myth? I mean, it's not true. The oh. TV doesn't do anything to your eyes. Sorry, kids. Or it's not adults. your fault. It's the adults that have taught the kids that. Uh, should I just leave it like oh, that? Well, yeah, sure, why not? No, 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 it needs some sparkles. It needs some sparkle. You hear that? Yep, sparkles. All maybe right. this, or maybe like this one. All right, we'll try this one, because I never used this one. This one is black unicorn. The other one was unicorn, and this is black unicorn. And this one's still... What's the, other? What's the blue one say? Oh, the blue one says... Unicorn Queen. So this is a queen. Okay, it's a unicorn queen. So this is unicorn. So she's a color. Unicorn queen. king. And the unicorn. Ooh. <laughs> I know. Guaranteed to blow your mind. Ooh. Squash. How's that? Beautiful. Gorgeous. Thank you. Okay. Um, my highlighter, I think it's the last step now. We do pink, which is Comet Catcher. Oh, bam. Miss. It looks white there, but. Yeah, the camera makes it. Can you even see that? And, uh, <laughs> I can see it. I don't think the camera's. Glitter can see glue. It. I mean, okay. Okay, you can't see it close, then I'll make it close. So, glitter glue. Well, it's backwards, right? No. I mean, the cam when we look at the camera, it's backwards. Yeah, so we can see what we're doing, but yeah. it's being recorded the right way around. Yeah, like if we're there. It flips it. Oh, it flips. Mm hmm. Um, Mira. Okay, all done. Yay! Yay! I love your look. It looks so cool. Yes. I'm going to be going to work looking very extra tonight. Yep. And at Monday, we will be at... Uh, oh, we're going into lockdown. Wait, Un what is lockdown? Unfortunately, oh. Perth, Western Australia is going into lockdown for the next three days. So, mm. I don't know what's happening Monday. And uh, we... So, it will be George's birthday? It will oh. be cancelled. Oh, wow. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video of me and my daughter doing our makeup together. It was a little bit of impromptu fun. And, um, yeah. Yeah. If this is your first time, hi, hello. <laughs> this, is, this is not my normal contact you, content. <laughs> first time being on this video, Phil. First time I want to animate. My beautiful baby this is my uh number two out of three kids so yes, yes she's very artistic and my well my older sister is good at art too 
yes, the children are good at art. So, um, yes, if you like this video, press the like button down below. Consider subscribing and checking out my other videos if that's in, you know, your sort of thing. And yeah, leave a comment below. Happy to have a chat about anything. Yeah, but it was a short chat, was it? Well, we'll find out. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> bye bye. So have a wonderful day, week, month, and year. And I'll be seeing you next time on Makeup and Science. Bye. Bye.